that in 2005, there are certain things that I'm going to do for Zion. And can I say to you tonight that if we can just try to move and ascend and hear what God is saying, we'll understand that 2005 has certain promises attached to it. Things that belong to you, Elder Bender. Things that belong to us that no devil and no demon in hell can stop it. So the only thing that we've got to do is make sure that we hear what God is saying and immediately position ourselves to receive what the Father has. The Lord said to me prophetically, he said, and 2005 is the year of favor. It is the year when I will release my super in a natural situation. He said this is the season where he will favor Zion. He said this is the season where he will divinely step in to your natural situation and shift things. This is the season where though we are at war, we've got the advantage. Somebody say advantage. When you look at the word advantage, the word advantage has to do with having the upper hand. Favor has to do with the fact that you didn't deserve it. And whatever you're trying to do, you cannot do it on your own. But because he said, now it happens. He also began to say to me that 2005 was a year of strategy. It is a year where God by his spirit will release clever plans into our meetings so that we will know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. So the doors that were shut in the last season, because God will give us strategy or revelation, then we are able to go back to doors that seem like they couldn't be unlocked because it is through strategy or through revelation that we will know what keys to use to pop the door open. Now, those of you that are in business, those of you that are in ministry, those of you that are just in the body of Christ, you ought to be excited about that because what you're going to find out is that there are certain secrets according to what the apostle Paul says over in 1 Corinthians 2, hallelujah, that has been hidden for you, not from you.